What's up guys? It's me, Ryan, and Rose. <laughs> this time I'm just gonna give y'all a little uh, story time. I know I kind of referenced uh, in the last video that um, I personally have not experienced racism, but I, I've seen it to, you know, I experienced it at a very uh, young age. Um, so I'm just gonna give y'all a little story on that. And to preface this story, my grandmother is white and my grandfather is Native American. Um, so, but growing up, like when I was younger, I didn't really, I didn't really, I wasn't educated on race. I just knew that my grandfather was a darker skin than me. And that was just kind of like a, like a normal thing. <laughs> so I didn't really know anything. So this story is kind of point out when I realized, oh, racism exists. Uh, so, we went to Brahms, me and my grandmother. I think my younger brother was there as well. Uh, they have a little playground, like at McDonald's, like with a slide, ball pit, all that stuff. Uh, so we went there and we were playing for for a while. Um, I think there was like two little black boys, like, uh, like one little Hispanic kid and me and my brother. And we're all just playing, having a good time and stuff like that. And uh, out of nowhere, I kind of see like my grandmother arguing with this lady about something and I didn't know what it was and then um my grandmother basically got us and we left um kind of to avoid any issues uh but I didn't know why we left but in the car um she kind of let us know what happened and apparently the uh the lady had made a comment saying to my grandmother oh you're gonna let your kids play uh with black kids and that's just, you know, obviously that was unacceptable. And she had no idea that, um, you know, my grandmother was in an interracial relationship. So she wasn't going to just be okay with that comment. So they obviously got into an argument and, um, yeah. So yeah, my, my grandmother, uh, she explained that to me and, you know, told me about the whole situation. And this whole time I'm kind of just like sitting back there so confused because I'm like, what is the issue? Um, but yeah, like that, that was pretty much the first time there was like a big eye opener, like, wow, there are actually racist people that are not okay with you just because of the color of your skin. And, you know, I think it was, and that still sticks to me to this day, that story. And I think I was like five or six and it's, it sticks with me because it's just so, it was so jarring at the time and so confusing. Um, because a lot of the friends I had weren't white, you know, I had white friends, I had friends of all colors. So I, I didn't know. Um, so it was a very, it was just very eye opening. Um, but yeah, just a little, that was just a little story time about the first time I experienced it. Uh, but what I would say is, is just educate your kids. Um, because, you know, it could be your kid makes some off comment and you know that some racist comment you know it's just educate your kids that there is a difference um don't don't raise them to be colorblind because there are differences mm -hmm. but you definitely need to teach them about racism um because it, it'll do them a lot better yeah. later in life yeah definitely <clears throat> teach them to see color don't raise them thinking if i teach them to see every yeah. color as the same then oh boom no racism because it doesn't work like that because yeah. then they grow up inexperienced actually mm -hmm. instead of instead of understanding cultural differences they literally have no clue they literally they're lost when it comes to differences in cultures yeah. um and you know like Sometimes they literally don't see, like they don't notice the um, discrimination that other people of non-color may experience. They, you know, yeah. un unfortunately, sometimes they might, act, they might actually partake in it, yeah. you know? So I think that's really important as well. Yeah, because they, they might just have some people, like someone they think is their friend or something like that. And they just say stuff because their friends are saying it, or, you know, and their friends were saying some messed up stuff or whatever. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's just hateful. Like, and you know, I think that's why it stuck for me for so long. It's just like hateful. So 
you know, and like that, that's really made me obviously just the complete opposite is because it just doesn't make any sense. It's such an elementary thing that, you know, apparently people don't understand. And I feel like for a while people, you know, it's not gonna be gone anytime soon. So yeah. educate your kids for sure. And yeah, educate your kids about it so yeah. that they know so that hopefully we can make a change. <laughs> That's the only way we're gonna make a change. And especially if you end up in an interracial relationship. Yes, definitely. then you really have to know. You really have to be aware of these things. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Bottom line is educate your kids. <laughs> but thank you, you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Yes. Turn on your post notifications mm -hmm. so that you can, you know, so you know every time we post a video. Because those videos are coming, y'all. Like, we got them. They're on the way, if, if you notice. Oh, we yeah. got them. They're coming to minimum every week. We found the formula. Yes. <laughs> So we're gonna, yeah, we're start pumping them out now. So expect at least, like you said, two a week, maybe more. So, maybe more. Yeah, just make it easy and click the bell. Click the bell. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Bye, you guys. Keep up with us by following us on Instagram at Amore Gains. And as always, like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe for good vibes.